Hello to all the mamas out there. If you are pumping, you are a breastfeeding mama too. about the best tips to have an effective pumping session. I think the best and number one tip that anybody would tell you is to find a pumping bra. I'm not gonna do that. I'm going to tell you that you can pump even with your regular nursing bra. How can you pump with a regular nursing bra? When you put the flanges on, you can actually tuck the flange in to the nursing bra depending on the bra you know this bra is something that you're not going to be using for a long time just for the time that you're going to be nursing your baby or pumping for your baby so you can actually use that bra to pump i personally never bought any pumping bras make sure you choose the right size for your flange what's a flange they all gonna be looking like this. It's where you're gonna put the nipple in so you can suck the, ba the milk out for your baby. Um, some flanges, most flanges actually look like this. And uh, a lot of others would look something like this or like this. If you are gonna be wearing a hands-free pump, it would look something like this but you get the principle. This is where you put your nipple in. I think it was never easy for me to find the right size for the flange. So I had to contact a lactation consultant to be helped a little bit with that because it's not, it's not what the literature tells you. Sometimes the size of your nipple doesn't have to go with the size of the flange. I'll explain what I mean. If you have a different type of nipple, like elastic nipples, you would be able to use the right size of the flange for your nipple because your nipple is going to act differently on the flange as opposed to other non-elastic nipple. So once you find the right flange for you, it would make a whole lot of difference for your pumping routine. Yes, everybody tells you it's not supposed to hurt, you're not supposed to feel uncomfortable with it, or while you're pumping or nursing, but guess what? Reality is, yes, sometimes you're gonna feel uncomfortable because your nipples are gonna be sore, Sometimes your period is coming and your boobs are going to feel different. So you're going to be more sensitive in that area. Um, and these are a type of things that not a lot of people really explain. And what ends up happening is that mommies are going to be discouraged and be like, okay, I'm doing something wrong. I can't ever get it right. And I'm just going to give up breastfeeding or pumping but I think once you start feeling comfortable with many of your pumping sessions you know you're doing something right you're getting your milk out with not a lot of pain and you're getting sessions that are not painful but even when I thought I was doing everything right I found out that I still had to learn a lot of tricks from a lactation consultant. If you feel like you got the hang of it already, but you haven't seen any other lactation consultant other than the ones that the hospital provided to you when your baby was born, it's probably a good idea only because I found a lot of other tricks and tips that I didn't know myself and that are actually helping me right now to keep up with my routine. For example, one of the lactation consultants that I've spoken to recently um, had 
had asked me if how was my overnight pumping or nursing doing and I said to her I'm really struggling because I need to sleep too you know I don't like to interrupt my sleep every three hours a night so what she told me was that I could leave the 3 a.m. breast milk out on my nightstand for the baby to drink in the morning like if he gets up at 5 to at 5 a.m. to eat or 6 a.m. it will be good for him to go ahead and drink it without saving it in the fridge and then giving it warming it up for the baby and then giving it to him just remember that the CDC says breast milk can be out for about four hours as for the CDC recommendations it would be 77 degrees Fahrenheit or colder that would be considered room temperature <laughs> you say hi okay you're happy you said hi I'm <laughs> sure what were you doing you're sweating so another tip would be that you massage your breasts. Uh, sounds strange, but yes, it really works. There is a product, I, I've seen a product that you can actually put on your breast, like on top of your breasts, and it will massage them for you, which is amazing. I might, I might. I might look into it and see if it's not too expensive and maybe I can buy it and and review it for, for you guys that are watching okay talking about the massages yes they do work I had done pumping sessions without massages pumping sessions with massages and of course I've seen an obvious difference between the two so you just have to know that there are two different types of massages. When you're when you are engorged, the massages are from your nipple to the back. When you are pumping, you want to massage from the back to the front. Another thing that helps is the heating pads. You probably have seen these already. They're gel pads and they really help when you put them around the breasts. Just make sure you put it like around the flange so the flange gets warm. So that's the breast. It's like the same principle. When you're engorged, they tell you to take a hot bath or a warm shower to put the warm water on your breasts for a few minutes and I think it's because of that to relax those pores or those ducts 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 <laughs> I throw these two in the microwave for 18-19 seconds and I make sure they don't touch each other because they can melt and they can get damaged don't keep looking at the bottles or at the bags when you're pumping don't keep looking how much milk are you taking out are you getting out this is very stressful just by doing that your milk supply automatically reduces because you're stressing out about it you're stressing out about something and your body recognizes that you're stressed out so you will be retaining your milk so relax don't look at the bottles while you're pumping don't look at the bags if you're use, if you're using bags or containers if you're using the hands-free pump whatever um, just be relaxed and think about something else think about your baby scroll down on your phone look at your baby's pictures or do whatever else that is not stressing about the amount of milk that you're taking out okay if you pump for 20 minutes stop at 10 minutes restart your pumping session it'll give you another first two minutes of stimulation mode 
the beginning of your pumping session. Most pumps do it automatically. Okay, so one last great tip for pumping. When you take the flanges off, make sure to put some of that milk left on the flanges um, on, on your nipples, around your nipples. So make sure you get healing for any type of lacerations that you have. Breast milk is so great that will help you even heal those little lacerations that you get from manipulating your nipples so much so you will feel better. I'm gonna make another video about my breast pump just so that I can show you guys um, what is the simulation mode, what's, what's the expression mode, and um, you know the different type of flanges and all of that. Um, if you like these videos, please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss them um, as I'm posting them. And if you want to comment anything, you can also do it down below. Thank you. Okay, say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye.